Hi, this is Kathy Frey, wife, mother, parenting, writer and midwife and welcome to this podcast on bonding with your baby. Or as the saying goes, honey, did you pack the super glue in the postnatal bag for bonding? (laughs) Yes, this emotional Velcro bonding theory first appeared actually only just in the 1970s. And by the 1980s, bonding had become an accepted maternity term, after which the process became analysed and scrutinised to the point, honestly, of creating another term, poor bonding. There are hundreds of factors, physical and emotional, which influence the mother-baby bonding process. Lots of new mums do not always experience the instantly in mother love emotions. Certainly, there are correlations between how good or traumatic a birth is and how smoothly bonding then occurs. For some mums with a new baby, there are feelings of bondage well before there are feelings of bonding. So for many women, particularly in the first two to three days, their dominant feeling is a kind of weird, distant, blank indifference towards their baby and motherhood as they slowly begin to come to terms with the enormity of it all and go over in their mind their experience of childbirth. That is a really normal reaction. Bonding is a gradually unfolding experience that can take hours or days or weeks or months to evolve, like a flower opening its petals. Some studies have shown that almost half of women don't love their newborns straight away. But most new mums and dads worry about whether they're feeling adequately bonded with their baby, as if bonding is some super glue that gushes out of a mother at childbirth, instantly sticking together the new mother and her newborn in some wondrous connection. You may have been wondering why yours is not the love at first sight experience you were imagining it would be, but often it's just not like that. Welcome to the new world of worrying about your child. For lactation, a mother's bonding, um, it's, it was, sorry, a mother's body secretes a hormone called prolactin, which is thought by some to help bring out on those baby bonding feelings, stimulating a mother's connection with her baby, making her more in sync with her newborn through the increased maternal sensitivity or instincts that somehow this prolactin when you're breastfeeding is supposed to do or does do. In a way, it makes this makes a load of sense. I mean, how do other mammals know how to mother their young if not by instinct? So it would be logical that the human baby's mothers too are provided with maternal instincts at a biological level. But if deep inside you are already feeling anxiety or guilt over your indifference and lack of bonded feelings with your brand new charge, a total stranger, let's face it, then please realise that you are not abnormal in any way. Many new mums experience feelings towards their newborn that are like a pendulum swinging from tense acceleration to nervous despair. There is a substantial amount of literature available designed to enhance your skill at bonding effectively with your baby. And a lot of it, from an idealistic mother nature perspective is quite correct but some of it can feel like propaganda it is possible to be beautifully bonded to your baby without following any particular theory and it is possible to feel completely unbonded after following every theory ever invented so perhaps the most useful bonding tools are calm blissful moments of getting to know each other such as sitting quietly 
chatting face to face up close or holding your baby skin to skin on your chest. One of the best investments is opting for a single room at your postnatal facility if that's possible. Bonding is like childbirth. Each journey takes its own unique path. It's not like a switch gets flicked on. Simply, one day you realise you know what your baby's needs are or you miss your baby dreadfully when he's with a babysitter or you experience milk let down at the same time your baby across town cries to her nana for a feed or you have a beautiful and vivid dream of your baby when he's older or you find it hard to remember life without your wee bub and you know intuitively that there is some kind of psychic connection between you both. This is the day that you finally realize this little person has squirmed his way deep inside your soul and that you would give your life for that wee babe. And by then, trust me friend, you are well and truly bonded. Thank you for listening to this podcast about bonding with your baby. For further topics which may be of interest and to order my books, please go to kathyfray.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye.